Hey there you, welcome to this pick a card video. It's really a pick a message, pick a card. So you just think of a number, either one, two, or three, and then the timestamps for the messages will be down below in the description. Now look, you can watch more than one of them if you feel drawn to do that. The messages are timeless, that means they are going to be arriving in your consciousness, in your awareness, right when you need them to. It's just the way it works. Reality reflects back to us what we are, what we need in the moment, and it's going to be a unique perspective to help expand the light of your personal life. Go ahead and enjoy it. Let me know in the comments what types of stuff from your readings hit you, and I can't wait to hear from you and converse with you. Take care, enjoy, let's go right into those readings. All right, here we go. What's it gonna be for today? Let's take a peek and find out. What in the world, oh man. The dead end, yeah, the dead end, why what? It's so obvious that the black and white world of duality is the dead end. There's nothing there, <laughs> there's no way out of it either by going around in the maze of good versus evil. Uh, we'll be running from one little corner of <laughs> Scaryville to try to get away from something. And then we'll just end up over here in another corner of it <laughs> where something else will all of a sudden seem to be scary there too. So living in the world as a personal self is a dead end. Jesus said it. He's like, look, I of myself can do nothing. So what is it? It's about being born again, being born a second time, being born in spirit, being born in spirit. Our limited self, that handprint is here in the world, and it's always going to be there. You could call it our shadow self. You could call it our ego. You could call it the part of us that isn't really alive. You could call it the set of data, the construct, the information connections, the good versus bads, all the little details and data. That is the part of us that's not really alive. But if we are <laughs> to take this card to heart, then it's just a reminder that we are so thankful that we recognize our identity within as that spiritual conscious awareness being. It is that very inner space of nowhere land. It is that very inner light of intelligent awareness that is outside of this static world. Because look, constantly this is all just representative of past ideas, past words, past descriptions. In the moment, we formulate a description and then it goes right into here, into the dead end space. So we don't want to rely on yesterday. We don't want to rely on the past. We don't want to judge things based on what we see in this strange structure of the world around us. No, instead, we're going to rely on what we see up here, what we conjure up here, what we side with the light up here, what we use our divine masculine and divine feminine or our words and images up here and our light or energy or emotion up here. We're going to create up here and then we're going to have a clear guidance system in place to be able to motivate us, emotivate us into taking actions in the world. That way, all these little webs of things we're doing aren't going to feel like good or bad. They're going to feel like divinely inspired events that we are participating in. So I want to make sure that, <laughs> that we do that. And that way, we're going to stay out of the dead end and stay into the never ending land of freedom, wellness, awakeness, eternal now. That's your reading. Yeah, enjoy it. Take care. All right, all right. Let's take a look and see what these one or actually two cards for you are going to be for your highest good right here, right now. Oh, yeah. Look, now this starts off with the awareness card. Now, the awareness card is incredibly good. Let me tell you why. This represents that part of us that is beyond the world. Okay, this represents that inner spirit, that inner light. And the card is suggesting that now is a time for you to really break in to that authentic identity that you know you are within you. The one where no one else can really see the, the person that only you know about, the you of you, the one who goes the extra mile, the one who believes in the possibility of all things, the one who is there when someone's in trouble, the one who shows up to help herself get through the day-to-day -day issues in life. More and more, draw on your awareness, your consciousness, your inner spirit as that true, authentic identity of who you are in the world. And look, it shows that the shadow behind here is just 
the former version of ourself. Each day, each moment, we are casting off like a snake skin, like we are shedding out of a cocoon some type of version of ourself that we just made use of. So remember that whoever we are in the moment, that's going to pass and change. That's not going to last. And if we're feeling sad or we're feeling disappointed or whatever, if it's some type of a feeling that we don't prefer or some information we don't prefer, it doesn't matter that much. We want to get back into this quiet space of serenity, this inner awareness represented by that blue. And we want to side with that one white light power that you can see emanating through the card. That means that we're always in the hand of God. We're always in the space of God. There isn't another power. And this part of ourself is always going to burn off or fade away. So it isn't going to last. So no matter what you're thinking or feeling, you can always know, even if it doesn't feel that way, that you really are this other authentic self that is beyond the changes of day-to-day -day life. It's beyond the emotions. It's beyond the data that is happening in your personal life. Now, when we get more and more in tune with that, we continue to get empowered. We get a bigger, broader, wider perspective of our personal life, which frees us up from a lot of the turbulence or bumps of being these other versions of ourself and of dealing with any conflicts or any growing pains or any of that stuff. So again, the wise choice represented by the purple diamond here is to see yourself as an awareness living inside of a temporary version of you. Let's go ahead and move into the second card. Okay, so we saw that awareness card. We saw that authentic identity. And we saw how important and grounding it is, stable it is, to really get inside that conscious space and know no matter what whirlwinds going on around you that that is who you are oh yeah and so look the bittersweet card comes up to illustrate this now that we know we are this awareness represented by the woman right here we are our higher self we can always weather the tears see she's wearing that dress of tears meaning that whether it is bitter or sweet in the world she collects all of that energy, all of the observation of the bittersweetness of life. And she turns them all into these tears of growth, tears of experiences, tears of knowledge, tears of wisdom, tears of joy, joy and gratitude for being able to experience a variety, a variety, even if it's bitter or sweet, because it doesn't last long, just like cake. Cake doesn't last long in the world. You've got to happy birthday it up, chomp on it, and then it's gone. So in the same way, the bittersweetness of day-to-day -day life, like the other cards showed, doesn't last very long. So we can weather the storm or we can really feast on the joy of it as our mortal self. And so this is just showing you as that authentic awareness, bringing these beautiful new experiences to yourself. And the cake has the seven colors of the chakra on it, meaning that when we know we are an awareness or a consciousness, we become more and more identified with our higher self. Then we can bake up the cake from the white light, that's why it's white cake, and the rainbow of colors. This is this one power. The white light is one power, and the rainbow of colors is the one power reflected in different rays or different experiences, different candles of light, different variety of experiences, meaning that the things that happen in our world, uh, in relationships, in our work, all of those different nuances are just a variety. They're not really good or bad. They're not really bittersweet. They're not good versus evil. They're a variety of information that we get to experience, almost like being at an amusement park. Every experience is just a ride that we get to be on, but then we get off that ride, it ends, and we move on. So. This is showing that as our authentic self, it's always our birthday. It's always our rebirth day. We are always being born anew, born anew, casting off the old and being born again and again and again, over and over. The light blue around the card represents the communication chakra, the throat chakra. This means we want to talk to ourself about the good things we're looking to see. We want to tell ourselves that we are imagining and feeling great things for her. We are baking her cakes and going ahead and setting the plan up here so that she can experience them as little reflections and white doves coming in to her life in day-to-day -day reality. That's your two-card reading. Enjoy it. Thank you.
In this video, I'm going to be talking with you about the value of having patience. Now look, most people, they want to rush through things. Why? Well, because we feel like if we don't hurry up, we're going to miss out on something. But that's not usually the case. If we rush through things, a lot of times we do it in a sloppy way or, you know, we just make a mess or we put our foot in our mouth or we have something we have to clean up. I know when I rush around my kitchen trying to cook something, I end up spilling the food all over the place, burning my fingers, ah, and all sorts of garbage happens to me. If I would just have some patience and get into that flow, into that calm space, and that's always going to start by taking a few slow, deep breaths. Holding our breath in a little long on a deep breath will allow the oxygen to start to flood the blood and release the opiate receptors of our brain. We're going to start feeling mildly sedated, widely eyed and awake in a place, a space of spiritual dimension, shaking off the dust of our personal life. All of our worries, our thoughts, our wonderings about this, that, and the other person, place, or thing going on. And we'll be just resting serene inside that little land of La La, that place where <laughs> nobody else can go. You are an authority in your personal life. We all are. We're the I am that I am living inside of a human being. Spiritual beings having human experiences. And we're going to take that birth, that spiritual birth of ourself, and we are going to be able to enter into the time spots of our day with mindfulness and with a clear intention to be of service to the world, of service to our family, of service to ourself, of service to that white light that wants to express in the world in a variety of colorful ways. Remember, we're dealing with one power, not two. Uh, it looks like there's two, but you know this is just one power. Think about it. If we get patient or we take a breath, we can go with the higher idea that there's just one light and that things just keep changing. So it looks like there could be an opponent. It looks like there could be an opposition. It looks like there could be something against us, but there isn't. These are just little phases of the moon covering the light. These are just little what? Little bits of differences, nuances, varieties of expression. There's only one power. That power is love. God is love. Not to quote the Bible, but why not? God is love. If there is just one power, if God is for us, if love is for us, who or what could be against us? nothing, no one. So we really want to have the patience to consider that there is only one power, God, source, universe, expressing itself in the world. And when we give birth to that idea, that's when the light will be in us, leading us. And if light is leading us, what will the darkness have to say, do, or anything? nothing. It just goes away. It clears the way. Look, you can see it all coming in the card here. This blue is the throat chakra, the words, the words, the ideas that light is all there is. And it is oozing out of us, carving through us into the blackness, the blackness, the expansion into the space around us. That's what the universe is doing anyway. It's just expanding. It's giving birth moment by moment, tick tock, tick tock of new iterations of humans being. And this is God or light coming into the world, incarnating as a human experience, as an emotion, as a thought, as a sentence, as a video here on YouTube, as a guy named Brian, what as a person named you. That one I am that I am, that one white light, that, oh, crystal that magnifies all of the different varieties of colors in this world that really brings them into clarity and gives them each a space of their own to be celebrated for their differences, for who they are. So have the patience, have the patience to be a patient in the world of God. 
to be a patient and to get cared for, to know that other people care for you, to know that you can care for them, and to know that you can recognize their differences, whether they are yellow, green, blue, orange, or black. Doesn't matter what color they are, the card is still one white light expressing in the world, in the world. So, be the friend of the birth of God here on earth. Be the one who is a channel for oh my, oh my, newness. And watch as your experiences are reflected back through the people and situations around you. Enjoy this creative life that we all are living in. Enjoy this creative birth that we all are part of. Enjoy your consciousness and your spiritual awareness.